Hello, second grade. This is module two, lesson seven. And our objective today is I can measure and compare length using standard metric length units and non-standard length units. Related measurements to unit size. So I have two lengths here. I have six centimeters and I have 10 centimeters. I need you to tell me which, which set is bigger. Is 10 centimeters bigger or is six centimeters bigger? Did you say 10? You are right. 10 centimeters is longer than six centimeters. Now we need to find the difference. When we're finding the difference in something, we always subtract. So what would our number sentence be? We need it to be 10 minus 6 because we have 10 centimeters minus 6 centimeters. And we're going to find the difference in those two measurements. What is 10 minus 6? Go ahead and pause and figure that out on your own. Did you say that 10 minus 6 equals 4 centimeters? So the difference between 10 centimeters and 4 centimeters, or sorry, 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters is 4 centimeters. All right, let's do our next one. So we have 22 centimeters and we have 12 centimeters. Which one is bigger? Go ahead and circle which one. Did you circle 22 centimeters? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Now we're going to find the difference between these. And to find the difference, do we need to add or do we need to subtract? Right, we need to subtract because we're finding the difference between 22 centimeters and 12 centimeters. So I want you to go ahead and write a number sentence for this problem. Did you write down 22 minus 12? If you did, excellent job. Go ahead and push pause and figure out this number sentence, complete this number sentence on your own. Okay, so did you say 22 minus 12 is 10 centimeters? So the difference between 22 centimeters and 12 centimeters is 10 centimeters. Very good. Okay, so now we have 20 centimeters and 16 centimeters. I want you to go ahead and circle which one is longer. I hope you circled 20 centimeters because that is the longer one. Good job. Now we need to find the difference. Are we adding or subtracting to find the difference? Right, we're subtracting. So go ahead and write down your number sentence. Did you write down 20 minus 16? I hope you did because that is our number sentence to find the difference. Go ahead and push pause and finish finish this number sentence on your own. Did you answer with four centimeters? The difference between 20 centimeters and 16 centimeters is four centimeters. Okay, so we have 20 centimeters again and 13 centimeters, and we need to find the difference. Go ahead and circle the longer one. Did you circle 20 centimeters? Good job. Go ahead and write your number sentence and complete the number sentence. So you're going to write the number sentence and the answer to the number sentence. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so I got 20 minus 13. Is that the number sentence you wrote down? I hope so. And then 
I wrote down that 20 minus 13 equals 7 centimeters. So the difference between 20 centimeters and 13 centimeters is 7 centimeters. If you got that correct, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. All right, here's another one. 20 centimeters and 9 centimeters. Go ahead and circle which one is longer. Did you circle 20 as the longer of the two? If you did, excellent job. Go ahead, push pause, and then push play after you have written down your number sentence and completed it. So for my number sentence, I wrote down 20 minus 9. Is that what you wrote down? What answer did you get? Did you get 11 centimeters? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. All right, let's do one more here. I've got 19 centimeters and 9 centimeters. Go ahead and circle which one is the longer of the two. Did you circle 19 centimeters? If you did, excellent job. Now you're going to push pause and then push play after you have written your and completed your number sentence. Go ahead and do that. Did you write down 19 minus 9? What answer did you get to 19 minus 9? Did you answer with 10 centimeters? If you did, good job. All right, so now we've got 24 centimeters and 14 centimeters. Which one is longer? Did you say 24 centimeters? I hope so. Go ahead and write down your number sentence and complete the number sentence. Did you write down 24 minus 14? What answer did you get? Did you get 10 centimeters? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Now we've got 24 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Which one is longer? Did you say 24 centimeters? Good job. Go ahead and write down your number sentence and complete it. Did you write down 24 minus 12? Good job. What was your answer? Did you get 12 centimeters? Excellent job if you did. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, so now we are, we've come to our application problem. Now remember, our application problem is a word problem, and we can answer this problem however we feel comfortable. So using any strategy that we have learned so far, you may answer this question. It says, Luigi has nine more books than Mario. Luigi has 52 books. How many books does Mario have? Think about if you're going to add or subtract. Go ahead and write down your number sentence and complete it. Did you say that our number sentence is going to be 52 minus 9? What answer did you get? Did you come up with 43? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Okay, so we're going to get into some measurements again today. I have a straw here, and I have two sets of paper clips. So I'm going to measure the same straw with both sets of paper clips. So here's my first set. Let's count how many paper clips long this straw is. One, two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this straw is about nine paper clips long. Now I told you I had two sets of paper clips. So let's measure the straw with my other set of paper clips. Do you think I'm going to get the same amount or a different amount? Let's find out. Let's see. Let's write down that we got nine paper clips the first time so that we remember. And let's put down the second set of paper clips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I got six paper clips the second time. I wonder why do you think the measurements are different? Go ahead, push pause and think about that. Look at the paper clips carefully. See if you can figure out why we got nine paper clips the first time and six the second time. Okay, so did you come up with an answer? Look at the size of these paper clips. On the bottom row here, I have paper clips that are slightly smaller than the paper clips that I have on the top. So I have two different sizes of paper clips. Could that be why I got a different measurement? Yeah, I think so. I, if the paper clips are smaller, I can lay down more paper clips to measure the straw. If they're bigger, I won't have quite as many because they're longer. So that is why I got nine of the small paper clips and six of the big paper clips, even though the straw didn't change at all. Now, let's look at this. I have two straws and they're both the same size, both the same length. I've got a centimeter ruler here and I'm measuring my centimeter ruler with my centimeter ruler and I see that I've lined up the end of the straw here with the zero and I see that this straw is 19 centimeters long. Now I have another ruler here. I've got this pink ruler. Now these rulers don't look alike. Do you think we're going to get the same amount of centimeters with the pink ruler as we did the white ruler? Just think about it. Well, I had two different sets of paper clips. So maybe if I have two different rulers, I'll have a different answer there too. So let's look. Well, I've lined up the zero to the end of my straw here, and I'm going to go down and I see, oh, this says 19 centimeters also. Even though these two rulers look different, I got the same answer. Why is that? So just because these two rulers look different, they're different colors, this white ruler has little notches in between, the pink ruler does not, the pink ruler also has inches down here, and the white ruler doesn't. Even though they look a little bit different, the measurement always stays the same. Centimeters are always going to stay the same. Paper clips are not going to stay the same. There are big paper clips and there are small paper clips. So because there are different size paper clips, do you think that I'm going to get more of an accurate measurement using a ruler or paper clips? Right, I'm always going to get a better measurement, a more accurate measurement, if I'm using a ruler 
than if I'm using other objects like a paper clip. Okay, so here we go. This is my this is my exit ticket for today. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure the lines with small paper clips and then with a centimeter ruler. Then answer the questions. So, you're going to measure line A, line, or sorry, line 1 here. First, you're going to use paper clips, and you're going to write down how many paper clips you measured it with. And then you're going to get out your centimeter ruler, and you're going to measure line one and write down how much you measured it. Same with two and three. Then down here at the very bottom, you're going to explain why each measurement required more centimeters than paper clips. When you're done, you're going to take a picture of your answers and seesaw it to your teacher. Good luck.